So, I was tagged by Abaddon5 for a 5 facts video. So, here you go, Abaddon5. And yes, that's Abaddon, not Abandon. Number one. Ah, many years ago, I was in a TV commercial. Not only was I in a commercial, I was a star. It was for a business that I used to work for years ago, and uh, I was sitting there in the, the living room with my uh, TV wife uh, and our TV dog, and it was an advertisement for um, for home sales, and uh, yeah, it um, pretty cheesy. I was wearing this uh, royal blue V-neck sweater and a shirt and tie, and had my nice little uh, penny loafers on and everything, and. Uh, I'm glad I don't have a copy of that commercial because I'd probably just burn it. The cheese factor was just so high. <laughs> but that was oh, over 20 years ago now. Fact number two. Um, like a bad in five, I used to be a big time war buff when I was a kid. I read pretty much every book that I could get my hands on about World War One and World War Two and even a fair bit of Korean War stuff. Um, I guess part of my fascination had to do with the fact that uh, I grew up on a military base so it's something that I knew. And, um, and I was fascinated with aircraft uh, like I, I just absolutely loved planes and uh, and at one time I wanted to be a, a, a pilot in the Canadian military. My, my dream job when I was like 11 years old or 12 years old was to be a snowbird pilot. But then I found out one day, thanks to some asshole recruiter who had um, absolutely no tact, that because I wore glasses I couldn't be a pilot in the Canadian military period and that's pretty much about the same way that he put it to me you know not showing a, a, a little kid much uh, compassion so yeah um, fact number three I used to be a full-blown over-the-top metalhead. My hair was halfway down my back or longer um, and it was uh, it was thick. It was really thick and bushy and so um, I didn't need to use mousse or hairspray or anything like that to to have the the 80s big hair. All I had to do was wash my hair and just uh, let it dry in the breeze and just, you know, rub uh, rub my hands through my hair every so often to just to air it out and it would just fluff it right up and and uh, it, you know it was big ass fucking hair. I had the uh, the black leather jacket with the studs and the spikes on it. Um, handcuffs and chains hanging off of it and then over top of that I always wore a Levi's jean jacket which I would cut the sleeves off and I would hand painted uh, a whole bunch of various uh, logos all over the back of it and down the down the front and there was some some patches sewn on it because it was starting to wear a little thin and there was studs on it and spikes and the whole conglomeration probably weighed close to 30 pounds and I used to wear that in the dead of winter in Ontario and in the dead of summer so um, 
you could just imagine uh, how that would feel wearing something like that in, you know, middle of August, hot, hazy, humid Toronto day. It was, uh, it was something else, but that was the life at that time. Fact number four. Uh, something I don't like to admit to, but when I was um, much younger, I was a conservative, a PC. I wholeheartedly supported the Progressive Conservative Party uh, in Canada, only to learn a few years later uh, the errors of my ways. Um, a gentleman by the name of Brian Mulrooney taught me that um, don't trust a conservative no matter what they say they'll fuck you in the ass every chance they get so um, I wasn't a diehard conservative I was just slightly right a center for the most part I guess you could say because now uh, I'm not really much of a liberal either I'm slightly left of center I believe in happy mediums I understand that we need business for people to have jobs but employers need to understand that they need to treat their employees and their customers properly because they need those employees to make and sell the products and they need those consumers to buy the products so a little happy medium goes a long way and fifth fact when I was a kid I was told time and time and time again that I should be an altar boy. Um, I was raised in a Roman Catholic home. Uh, I went to um, school, elementary school, on military base. And at that time we had religion class three days a week. And there were two religion classes, one Roman Catholic and one Protestant slash other. And I was in the RC class. And I don't know how many uh, times religion teachers and priests and other people told me that I should be an altar boy. And then after a little while, then they started telling me that I should be a priest because I guess I did a good job of memorizing all the BS that was uh, thrown at me as a child even though I never really believed any of it but I could um, I could bleed it out just like the the best of the sheep so uh, yeah they uh, they were encouraging me to be an altar boy and to even go to, to consider going to seminary if they could only see me now. <laughs> so, a bad in five. There's your five uh, facts. And now I guess I'll have to figure out who to tag for this. Um, I'll leave those names over that away. So, that's all.